Hey folks, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally, and today I'm just going to go over really quickly how to set up your domain name to point to your hosting. So uh, this is a scenario that happens if you buy your domain from a different hosting company than your hosting company. So most hosting companies, well, you can get your domain, you can get your hosting, you can get um, your WordPress installed, all that. But let's say somebody bought your domain from somewhere else and you have hosting somewhere else. And what you need to do is you need to point your name servers to your host. Okay. So in front of me, I have HostGator. This is the hosting plan that I recommend. These guys are great. They have, uh, it's affordable. It's good quality. I'm not going to start pitching somebody here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you, let's say you have hosting with HostGator. Okay, cool. But someone went ahead and already bought your domain for your nonprofit or your business or whatever you're doing, and they bought it with um, with Network Solutions or GoDaddy or someone else. So that your domain doesn't that doesn't point to your website where your website's going to be, which is on your host. You need to do that, and you need what you do that with what's called name servers. And your name servers are just a little piece of code. It's actually like an IP address, and you're going to go into where you registered your domain from. You're going to paste that name server in there, and it's going to point to your host. And this is how it's done. So I have a couple places I buy domains from. One of them is um, in Motion, and I'm going to go over here. So here is in Motion. All right. So what we're going to do is I am going to check off a little robot here. I'm going to sign into my account really quick here. And we're going to find a domain that I have. And we're going to pretend, because I don't really need to do this, but we're going to pretend to uh, change the, the name servers. Okay, cool. So depending on who you're hosting with, it's, it just depends, or who you bought your domain from, it depends on how easy this is to find. If you need support, call your your domain register support and they'll tell you where it is. Sometimes they'll even do this for you. Okay, in my case, it's pretty easy. Here is domains and there is manage domains. All right, well, that's pretty easy. We'll go here. And I have a couple domains over here. We're just gonna um, go and we're gonna click on this one here, the modernmarketingbootcamp.com. And then we look for a way to change the name servers, okay? And in this case, there's um, there's just a couple things here to do, and one of them is point to your domain. So set the name servers to point to a hosting account. We're gonna go there. And then you're gonna see, right now, there the name servers are pointed to inmotionhosting.com. It's pointing to itself in this case. And what you see here is ns.inmotionhosting.com. NS, typically, it could be anything there, but typically all name servers start with NS, stands for name server. And there's usually two name servers. There's a primary and a secondary or a backup. There actually could be three, four, or five. In this case, since we're with HostGator, HostGator has uh, given us their name server information. We would simply go in here and we would paste the name server in there. And we'd go in here and we would paste the second name server in there, which is actually um, 63182. And then I would say submit, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to change where this is pointing. Then you would submit it and it would probably take a couple hours. They say 24 to 48 hours, but typically within a couple hours, this domain name, in this case, this domain name, which is Modern Marketing Bootcamp, would be pointing to HostGator. And it would look for the modernmarketingbootcamp.com hostgator account. And that's where the domain would be. Or that's where the website would be. And they would now be connected. So it's really simple. It's just a step you have to take. So if indeed you end up having hosting in one place and a domain in another, get the name servers from, the do from uh, your hosting agent and paste it into your domain registration. Okay, folks. Well, I hope that was helpful and it should work out really well for you. If you have any questions, feel free to put some comments on this video. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but like I said, typically your host or your registrar, your domain registrar, will be able to help you and sometimes even do it for you. Okay, take care. Hey, I hope you liked that video. So this series of videos that I'm doing, it's just kind of little tidbits on how to set up your website. It's not actually a full course, but I do have a full course. So if you are trying to make a website, particularly a website for a nonprofit, but it could be for a business or any type of organization, I do have a how to make a website course. 
and there will be a link right here or maybe it's over there it's kind of hard to tell because sometimes the camera goes in reverse but click one of those links and um, you can take that course if you like this video make sure you like us give us a good like down there a good thumbs up and if you have any questions leave it in the description and best yet subscribe to the station folks because we're going to be coming out with videos well, all the time and we range from topics this is nonprofit ally so we do talk a lot about nonprofits and boards and fundraising strategic planning but we also talk a lot about tech because for me my my main skill set is technology so there is also a lot of that so subscribe all right thanks guys thanks for watching